You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. Oh, either, Ted's. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Why don't I let Liara talk for herself? Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. Mmm, but what about Liara? Let's just keep using her as a bargaining chip. <laughs> I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been stricter with her. Uh, wh what? She's put you in stasis! Oh. She's summoning guards to attack you. But they're confused and don't know where you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> there we go. Ow! They're using biotics to knock you over. They're doing a pretty good job of it, too. Ugh. Well, that's Liara. <laughs> well, sorry. Friendly fire. Oh, it's just gonna keep doing this. Oh, no. It's Gaff. Ah. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> that's really annoying. God, I can't tell the difference between Asara and... <laughs> Asara and... Or, Liara, Liara and the... Uh, Oh, sorry, commandos. <laughs> Get sniper, watch out! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, good, more of them. Thank God. What, what? Am I playing XCOM? What's with these weird, uh. There, that takes care of them. Alright, where the frig is she hiding? I'm gonna put a shotgun directly into her face. Oh, there she is. It really, seems really odd seeing her use a pistol. <laughs> This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The spiders seem to get... SPIDERS! <laughs> the Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will... You... She forgot her lines. <laughs> you must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Okay. <laughs> Blast you with carnage. Yup. <laughs> carnage. <laughs> Ow! That's oh. painful. She's selling more goons. Oh god, these goons. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's, she's not dead yet. Well, I have really bad situational awareness. <laughs> this one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not okay. in these low spaces. <laughs> Your musics are colorless. The children we birthed. I were have to go. The boss is giving me the wrap it up sing. signal. <laughs> they are lost to silence. So I have the option of bringing a species back from extinction that maybe probably shouldn't exist. Pretty much, yeah. I don't know. And I don't think she would be lying to me because she is just a big spider. Are you, are you gonna make that decision? Yeah. You're gonna release her? 
Yeah. Despite the fact that she might cause trouble? Uh, yeah. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose a new... I'm not really a fan of committing genocide. Remember. I mean, technically it hasn't done anything wrong, even though it is a big old bug. And it's spawn have tried to kill you. Yeah, but it's also a big bug, so I mean, whatever. And there she goes, the Rachni Queen. Off into somewhere. The appeal of winter wears thin. Oh, I thought she would have something to say about this. Maybe when you're back on the Normandy. Alright, well, let's uh get the hell out of here. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will give Mira destruct. Okay. I apparently I have really bad situational awareness. How would I not notice that? <laughs> Area secured. Uh, Liara. <laughs> Mira Terminal! Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Initiate the Neutron Purge. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Mumble something. Uh... Sick Semper Ter... <laughs> that is not the correct code. <laughs> Please report to security <laughs> for arrest and interrogation. Uh, uh... Let's try this again. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, I like this. She just tells me to go get arrested. <laughs> I have the code. Code input. So you got two minutes to get out of here before you get blown to smithereens. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go, let's go. That's uh, that my entire map is full of enemies. <laughs> let's get out of the elevator, quick, 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 quick. Okay, <laughs> that was something, <laughs> huh, guys? Wow! Busy day at the office. <sighs> it's gonna heal up real quick. Uh, let's just let's we'll just we'll just leave. We'll just leave. Well, yeah, we'll leave. You have released the queen and you've killed all of her spawn, and I think you're done here. All right. Well, I guess we'll get out of here. I'm sure everybody else on this station will be fine. Oh yeah, no, they'll be. They won't be a problem. You activated the neutron purge, so if they didn't get destroyed by the neutron purge, then they should be fine. Well, it wouldn't let me go down and talk to any of them. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do? What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? I don't know. Not so fast. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? Okay, uh, you need to calm down. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. I think that's the second time she stepped out of line like that. That is! Ashley, what the hell is your deal? We're done here. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Sure! Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Shut off. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? Uh, they won't. This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. My children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Ah, uh, that was probably a really horrible idea. To release the queen, you mean? Yeah. Well, I guess no use dwelling on the past. What's done is done. Well, what if it's a really bad idea? What if it comes back in later games and they're like, Oh, why'd you do that? Uh... I don't know. I guess we'll find out in later games. How about this guy? Salute! Woo! <laughs> that's the noise was that he... you or was that him? <laughs> that's, a, that's the noise he makes when he salutes. Him, not me. Like Terrence does not make that noise. Like he's so overweight that he can't raise his arm without making that noise. Woo! <laughs> he's just, woo, woo! <laughs> he's like... Really motivated. <laughs> Whoa! Well? If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. You don't feel bad? Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. 
She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. We'll bang later. <laughs> to all of your female companions. Dr. Shock was? You too. We'll bang later. But not Tali. Me and Tali, it's, we're sticking together. You could, you, you know... What does Caden have to say? I haven't... I don't even know what I've said to this guy. <laughs> yeah? Anything you need, Commander? Mm, oh, that one. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh... What was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. I want to know what he thinks about the Rachni Queen. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. Okay. Yeah, Zach, you didn't have any business getting involved. You don't know what it was like back in the Rachni War. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? <laughs> he sounds irritated. Does he? He sounded a little irritated there. Like he was saying it through clenched teeth. <laughs> Commander? Commander, good to see you again, I guess. Good to see you again. If I clench my teeth any harder, I'm probably going to crack a molar. <laughs> so what's your opinion on Caden so far? Yeah, you've know. brought him to no missions. I Yeah, I've brought him to the first mission, and that's it. So far, he hasn't wowed you, huh? I don't know. I guess not really. Uh, maybe the next mission I'll bring him. I haven't brought Rax on any missions either. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, sis. <clears throat> Tell me you didn't hear that. That's unprofessional. <laughs> Afraid I did. <laughs> oh, shoot me now. One of my sisters. That's Sarah, the youngest. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up. What's her name? Tassoni? Uh, why? Liara. Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. What? I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. Oh, that's kind of cold. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So you are interested in her? Never said that. Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Yes, charming. <laughs> I feel like this one is always the one of me being a dick. <laughs> it usually is. Oh, uh, well, I don't really want to be a dick. <laughs> After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. <laughs> For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Is she, is she doing poetry now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Councils, governments. Uh, that one? I didn't know you liked classical literature. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. You mean from... Wherever we go after death. Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. He's with Space God! That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? I, I don't care. Sure. Everyone has the right to believe what they want. Says so on the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? It's all random chance! I should get back to my duties. <laughs> Made of Didn't what? Take up so much of your time. Huh? Made of what? It's all random chance. All random chance. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, anyway. Okay. I'll talk to you later. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. So she just shared with you some poetry and her her religious beliefs. How do you feel about that? I mean, you know, whatever. It is what it is. It's it's good that I have a good rapport with my team members. I'm still not interested in dating her, though. <laughs> Commander, good to see you. Might be interested in dating Garrus, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, personal questions. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? 
Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. Anything specific? I'll bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember the Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. Uh, how so? What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Ah, uh, is that common? You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. But they're not as bad as the cycles. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. It puts the lotion on its skin. Oh my god! With... <laughs> With morose demeanor, it puts the lotion on its skin, <laughs> or else it gets the hose again. With sexually excited satisfaction, <laughs> put the lotion in the fucking basket. <laughs> With great anger, you don't know what kind of hell I can bring you. <laughs> With perversion, would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. <laughs> so how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. There was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> Krogan testicles? You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. What? <laughs> Four? Somebody's making a killing. Somebody's making a killing out there. <laughs> So they have four testicles? Krogan have four testicles. What the hell? That's why if, if sometimes you're fighting a Krogan, they'll, they'll yell, Kick him in the quad! <laughs> okay. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Interviewing? You mean threatened? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. <laughs> One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body. Some of them fresh. Fresh! That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salian's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. Test tubes? He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess. But only on the inside, hidden, so nobody... See, I want to play that game! Why can't I play that one? <laughs> Why isn't that Mass Effect? Are you going to be that doctor who's butchering people? Or? No! I want to be Garrison and investigate this case! That sounds awesome! I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Uh oh don't tell me that! Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. So? But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. Well, you can't get them all. No, but letting him get away like that, 
All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I think it's a tough choice. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart, <coughs> his idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Well? I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Cool! So now you get to follow up on that mission. Ooh! But no, I just want to play the. I just want to play the whole thing where you're on that, and it'd be like a gritty detective <laughs> drama. Instead of going after Doctor, instead of going after Sarah, you want to go after Doctor Hart. Yeah, I go after Doctor Hart, but I just want to play as Garrus and go after <laughs> Doctor Hart. Just want to be Garrus and be like mm, calibrations. That'd be an awesome spin-off game. Oh, calibrations. It's like Tolly. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. She seems happy. Good to see you smiling again. So to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. Turn a fan on in your room like I told you. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Starin's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. Yeah? What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. She's royalty? I'm responsible for trillions! <laughs> wow, that's really, that's a dick move right there. <laughs> Or are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. Why would they have the word kid? Technically, they're all speaking their native language and it's being translated through auto-translators in your ear. Hmm. And, and how come their mouths are moving perfectly? No, 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 we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> we're just gonna, first of all, you can't even see Tally's mouth, so you have no idea. Well, she's got the little light on her mask that goes boop, 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 when yes. she talks. Yeah, that's true. Tally's really cool. I don't have anything to say to Rex. <laughs> really? Yeah, I really have nothing to say to him. I'm sure he's real pissed that I let that, that bug out. <laughs> so... We've got Saren on the run. Yup. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Mm. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. No, that's fair enough. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Wow. I see. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay, then. So Rex briefly worked for Saren. Briefly. Uh, so that's probably good. We will, um... Save, and uh, next time we're gonna go uh, track down a guy that cuts up people for body parts. Gonna go after Dr. Hart? That's what you wanna do? Yeah, I think we're gonna go after Dr. Hart. <laughs> Sounds good. You gonna bring Garrus along with you, or just gonna leave him behind? Oh no, we're totally gonna bring Garrus with us. We'll bring Garrus, and I actually I might bring someone other than Tali. <laughs> I always freaking bring Tali. You've been being you've been so nice to people that you're just the ultimate savior of humanity. Oh god, whatever. Might as well wear a halo around your head. Oh my god, I don't do it for the halo. I do it because that's what feels okay. <laughs> I see. So you're selfish, and you're only doing it so it feels good. Sure. Yeah, if that's what you want to go with. All right. I'm not a horrible monster. I'm not going to kill the last remaining thing of a species. Are you talking about the Rachni now? Yeah. 
You sure? Yeah. You're sure you're not gonna kill it? Yes. Well, you didn't, so I guess. Gonna stick with that decision. I guess, yeah. It's gonna haunt me until the day I die. Won't you have egg on your face when that happens? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>